Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today we are working on day 14 of our December daily prompts and it's called It's a Wonderful Life. And that one I guess is pretty straightforward. Um, we have been going through some really tough times and a lot of my friends, I've been hearing some real sad stories of stuff that's going around, people getting depressed, people who can't visit people that are ill. So it's getting to be um, a year that everyone is going really looking forward to be over. So what I thought I would do for It's a Wonderful Life is maybe sit down and think about the things that I'm really grateful for right now in my life. Um, I know that there is a lot of people, like I say, that are not um, having a tough time, but maybe we need to sit down and focus on the things that we're grateful for. Maybe our health, our families, our friends, um, our house, having no, no debt, that kind of thing. Um, so that was what I was going to do with my um, day 14. I decided that there's 12... And I did put in my family picture. I just haven't got my present day one. Um, this is Winter Wonderland. And again, this is something that I was just going to be journaling about. Um, I've been working on some Christmas jigsaw puzzles. And I've just finished puzzle number three uh, two days ago. And it's been sitting on my table. It's so pretty. I don't want to take it down. It has about six different Santas on it. Um, but I'm ready to start another one. So <laughs> um, I find it very relaxing and it's really nice to work on before I go to bed. It kind of relaxes me and gives me time to let go of all my things that are going on. So today we're going to work on It's a Wonderful Life and it's day 14. And I'm going to use this spread because I want to use this lined page here to write down some things that I'm um, grateful for. Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to start by putting It's a Wonderful Life right at the top of the page. Um, I didn't want to put anything behind it because I want to see the words. And again, this is some clear sticker uh, sheets that I purchased from Avery. And so I'm just going to put that up at the top. So It's a Wonderful Life. And then on this side, I have these big old receipts um, that I used in another layout, and these came from your Creative Studio. So I think I'm going to use something like this to kind of um, use as a background. So I'm going to take this one and cut it in half and distress the edges. So I'm going to set that aside, and I've already done that um, off screen. So we're going to use, um, I think this side here. I'm just going to put on this flap so that I can see the difference between the two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on this side. I subscribe to Your Creative Studio and it's a box that has journaling stickers and papers and stuff like that in it. And she's been having a really difficult time with the post postal service being so slow. Um, I was supposed to, I think something, mine was mailed out November 15th for this, for last month and I still have not received my box. Now I know a friend of mine who lives in Brampton, who is in Canada as well, and she received hers last week, but I, because I'm up north here and our delivery service is just out of this world slow, um, I'm hoping I will get it next week. If not, I'll have to call her again and or email her again and just let her know that I still have not received my studio box for de for November. And they've already shipped out my December one, which heaven only knows when I'm going to get that one. Um, so I'm going to use this little tag. This is cardstock. This is something that I printed um, a whole bunch of these little tags on cardstock. And I'm just going to put this on the corner up here and it'll give me like a little tab for opening and closing my um, little flap here and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because this is cardstock and I find the wet glue sometimes oops, warps the paper and takes a while to dry for, for the cardstock. So I'm just going to put this on here like that and then I'm just going to stick this on the corner right there Good. So that's that side kind of decorated up a little bit. And then on this side, 
I thought I would add a little bit of music paper just to the one side here. So I'm going to be working on a collage of sorts. Make sure I get to my corners there. All right, so we're just gonna stick this on this corner here just to give it some color. And again, I'm finding my pages are getting rounded because this side is getting really full. Let's hope we can get through the whole journal without having any issues. And then what I thought I would use is this is the remainder of a card. I used the front flap in one of my other I don't know if I can find it. This. This was the front of this card, so season greetings, and I just put that on top of an envelope. So this is the remainder of the card, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use this as like a little flap to go on, on this side. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to use my fabric tack. So this is the back of that. It was like a money card. You would, you would put a dollar bill in there inside. It has these little things there. Come on, glue. And it just started to snow. Yes, um, it rained all day. A day on what was it Saturday? And Sunday it started to snow. So I'm hoping we get a. I did say I hope we get a little bit of snow for Christmas. Not a lot. So we can still get around if we need to, but it would be nice if we had a little bit of a white Christmas. All right. So now I'm going to put this on this side here, like that. So this is going to be a little flip open there. And I'm going to decorate the inside first. And it's hard to see the inside because it's so dark now that it's the weather's been yucky you can't really see I'm just gonna put that on there so you can it'll hold it down a little bit more so you can see it so then I thought I would take some um, some of this paper I've just cut an, um, an edge off of that so I have this paper and then I have the other half of this receipt as well and I think I'm gonna put that on this side here and then maybe a little scrap of paper. Yeah, let's use that one. And I've already distressed the edge. I was actually gonna use the whole invoice on this page. So I distressed the edges and then ended up cutting it in half because I came across this card. So I'm just going to put that, oops, got hair stuck to me. <laughs> stuck my finger in it. I'm just going to put that on this side. Right there. Just for some color. And then again, I'm just going to put this little strip on this side because I'm going to use that other piece on the other side. And we can use... It's a little bit of cardstock paper. It's a little bit thicker, but we can use the glue. Okay, so then we're going to put this on this side. Right there. Like that. So that just decorates this side a little bit. And then I have these stickers left and I thought I would stick one of these kind of down here. Oops. Give it a little bit of use there. And then this piece is going to go on this side. So let's glue that one down. Sorry, it's a little loud. All right. I'm just going to glue this side down on here. Maybe I should turn my light on. That might help. It just got really dark in here. Let me just turn the light on. There we go. Now you can see. <laughs> That's a little better. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm thinking, 
is I just have, this is just paper. This was a large sheet of scrapbooking paper. And I just cut a little piece off of that. And I think I'm just going to add that there as my list. So I can make a little list there. So these will be lists of things um, that I'm grateful for, or I think I'm going to do things that I love. Um, I do it and use a planner every day, and I always do a, a big page at the back and start writing down when I come, when I think of things that I really love, like gourmet jelly beans or um, freshly baked cookies or hot chocolate, anything like that. I just, as I think of things that I love, I write them down. So then I end up filling the whole page with things that I love. And it's kind of neat to go back over and see the things that you kind of are in love with. Okay, so we got that side. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of paper so that I can put a little title on this. So I'm going to put, this is just a scrap piece of sketchbook paper that I had in my stash. And I just tore it with a tear ruler and just a little bit of distressing around the edges there. So that's just a little label so I can put something there. Now the outside of this, it's kind of, oops, my coffee's sitting on this. I thought I would use this little piece of fabric and just glue that over where the words are so you don't see the words. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down and then I'll trim it up. I'm just going to trim this little piece off the side here. There we go. Trim that one. There. So I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac and I think I'm going to try and get as close to the edge as possible. And I don't know whether I should put it on this fabric. I think I will. Let's get our glue going here. And I'm going to put it on the fabric, I think. Here we go. Make sure I get along the edges. And then I will just add some more if needed. All right, so let's flip this over. I didn't do right at the very, very top because I'm going to try and keep it as far down from the top as I can. Like there. Like that. That's really pretty. Now somebody gifted me this fabric in a bundle. Um, I can't remember if it was, I think it was the book vandal, Dawn. I think it might have been in a Christmas bundle that she gave me for a book. Pretty sure it was her. Okay, so then I'm going to cut that off. Oop, dropping things. Okay, and I'm just going to, there's a little tiny bit I need to glue at the bottom here. And the best thing to do is leave this on its side when you have the lid on. And then you don't have to worry about it running, you know, shaking it to get it down. The other thing I was thinking of doing was putting on some little tabs right here on the side just to, um, I'm going to use this fabric tac right there. And I thought I would just put a little tab maybe right about there. And then when you flip it over, you need to put it on all of this side. All right, I put the little tab on there. Flip it around and you just measure them. Make sure that they're nice and even. There we go. So we have a nice little tab there. And then I thought a nice little label on the front. And I was, going, was thinking of that one. Well, that one's kind of nice. I also have a bigger one. That's maybe a little too big. Um, maybe this guy. That one's kind of pretty too. 
I think I'm going to stick with this one only because it kind of goes with this little label. So I'm going to put that guy on there. And again, I'm going to use the fabric tack because I'm going on top of the um, fabric and I want to make sure it sticks. Okay, I'm going to put my glue on, lid on. Okay, so we're going to put this guy here. Like that. And these are just some of the die cut shapes that I had. So, my little bin there. All right, so when we open up this, we're going to have this one. Now we can also put maybe, yeah, I think that guy's kind of neat. We'll just kind of put him on top of that little piece of paper so it doesn't look so plain. Let's do that. That looks nice. There. And then I think I have one more of these little stickers here. Use him up. I'm going to put him right... I don't want to cover up too much. Maybe right there. There. Now that's finished. I can toss that away. And then this is the other side, and I'm going to put my number up here, actually. So number 14 is going to go up here in this corner. Right there. So there's our day 14. That's kind of cute. And then I thought I might use, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea here. I might try and find a postage stamp and I can't seem to find where I put my postage stamps. They were right here. Oh, there they are. Nope, that's not them. I keep moving things and they end up getting tucked underneath something and... I will come across it. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing is I've printed out some more of my clear labels, which is similar to this one. And I think what I'm going to put across here is things I am Cut that one off. So this one says things I am Grateful for is going to be on the other end of it. So things I am, and we'll try and make sure that it's lined up so that it looks like it's on the same line. There. So things I am grateful for, and then I'm going to write things down on this side here. And then this one, I think I'm just going to put just a reminder. Oops. I'm just going to cut this little guy off. Oops. Don't stick, don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. <laughs> thing and then this one just says be grateful and that's just a reminder to myself to be grateful for what I have when I start complaining about life I want to remind myself to be grateful so there we go we've got be grateful there it's a wonderful life day 14 things I am grateful for and then on the inside of this I'm hoping this will fit it might not but we'll see if it will all right, and then on this one, I have things I love. And these are just fun things to keep track of. You don't particularly have to do this, but I just enjoy reminding myself of some of the things that I like. And it's also kind of neat because you can 
<laughs> kind of go off of that when you try and make up a Christmas list or something for someone. At least you know some of the things that you really, really like, like a certain kind of hand cream or perfume or um, I like um, Avon's Tranquil Moments foam bath. I just find that very, very relaxing. I love the smell of it. It's not too strong. And that's one of the things that always goes on my things I love list. So there we go. So we have things I love, be grateful. And then on this side, we have things I am grateful for. And then I'm gonna get my little um, pen here. And I like the extra small one. And I'm just trying to think if I have any other stickers or anything that I can put. I would like to put something on the back of this side, something kind of Christmassy. I wonder if I should maybe try another piece of that fabric. Just put that there. That's kind of pretty. I think I might do that just to give that other side some color. And then I'm just squeezing out some fabric tack here onto the fabric. Make sure I do the corners and the edges really well. I'm just trying to see how tall that page is. Probably have to go a little bit farther. All right, let's see if that works. It's stuck to my finger. <laughs> let's just put that on. And that gives that flap a little stability as well because it, it is pretty thin paper. This is very, um, ledger paper from a 19-0-something ledger. So just going to add a little tiny bit of glue to the bottom of this. There we go. Put my lid on. I had a rag around here somewhere. There. So now we have a little bit of color when we open up that page. There's a little bit of something on the other side there as well. And then I like to have some extra little, I'm going to put this little sticker on there. This is just a little candle. Close that. I think I'm going to stick that on there as well. Just to make it look a little more Christmassy. Put that off there. And let's put the candle right there. There we go. So then on this side we will write things I'm grateful for and I'm just going to make those circles here. So this will be where I create my list, things that I am grateful for. One more, there we go. So definitely number one is my family. Right there, my health. My home. Definitely my hubby, because he, he cooks. <laughs> um, being debt free. My friends. And then I will keep going from there. That's just some of them. So I'll fill that all in. And then things I love, I'm just going to write here, tranquil moments, bubbles. I love, I 
call them gourmet jelly beans, but they're actually those little tiny flavored jelly beans. I just love those. And then I'll just keep going as well. I love big fluffy snowflakes. As long as I'm not out walking around in them. <laughs> but that's where I'm just going to write down things that I love. And this is just a spread to remind yourself that you do have a good life. And even if you're going through some tough times, sit down and try to remember all the things to be grateful for, whether you have a husband or kids that check up on you regularly, whether you have, you know, a beautiful home, a wonderful pet, maybe that's been by your side for a long time, um, just stuff like that. that. This is a time to, through this really, really rough year, this is a time for people to maybe sit down and start thinking about things that they're grateful for. Maybe having a craft room. I'm very grateful for my craft room. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> my crafting space. It's mine and no one else uses it. Um, so I'm very grateful that I have a space that I can go and create in. Um, and just as you think of things, write them in your journal. And... You know, when you're going through a tough time, go back and flip to this page and just read through some of the things that you're grateful for. Anyway, that's it for day 14. It's a wonderful life. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with for It's a Wonderful Life. What makes your life wonderful. And do a spread. And just remind yourself to be grateful for what you have. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.